for certain problems we need to know limits of uh, certain algebraic expressions for example um, we have this interesting problem what is the limit when n goes to infinity the nth root of factorial n um, so let's look at a similar problem so you may think uh, this is finite or maybe um, even interesting this uh, this limit is one uh, for example we have a similar uh, result uh, we know that the limit of uh, when n goes to infinity the nth root of n nth root of n means the limit uh, n 1 over n which is 1 so this is a simple um, L'Hopital's rule uh, problem now what about if we change this problem to this so what do you think about this like you know so instead of n we have factorial n so we have we try to do the we try to find the limit when n goes to infinity are uh, the nth root of factorial n nth root of factorial n uh, so let's try to make a uh, so how about this argument so we are gonna do uh, like this uh, so let's start with uh, something like this so let's say so we need the limit when uh, n goes to infinity so this is the uh, nth root of factorial n so it is uh, so factorial n the nth root so that means 1 of n now what we can do is we can expand the um, the factorial so that means so we have one and then we have two we have three um, so like that and then we have n minus one and n like that and we have uh, one over n and we know that from algebra so we can this this root you can put to any of those terms so it's a limit n goes to infinity uh, 1 to 1 of n and then 2 to 1 of n and then 3 to 1 of n like that and then n minus 1 to 1 of n and then n to 1 of n so so uh, so so far so good now the problem is can we bring the limit inside can we write this can we write the next step can we write this is like this so uh, can we write this one as limit n goes to infinity 1 to 1 of n times limit n goes to infinity 2 to 1 of n and then like that so it's a limit n goes to infinity n minus 1 to uh, 1 of n and then finally you have limit n goes to infinity n to 1 of n so if this is the case if this is the case you know that each of these limits are 1 because that's a simple algebra result we know that the um, if a is positive the nth root of a if a is positive nth root of a when n goes to infinity is 1 so if that is the case if you can write it then what's going to happen each of these limits are equal to one so then you multiply simply one so you get so the problem is we cannot write this step so that's where the problem is so that the the, li the limit in the previous line is not equal to the product of limit the reason is those those numbers are not really one they are slightly the tiny numbers which are close to one but they are all slightly more than one so since they're slightly more than one when you multiply a lot because there's no finite number here if there's a finite number there are finite number of products you can do it you, you can write the uh, the number line in the bottom but the problem is there's no finite number here this number always increases because when it increases you may have like 10 products later you have thousand products so like that so even though you have really tiny little um, changes when you have a lot of numbers what's going to happen it can it can increase so it can go to even infinity so that's the problem that is the reason why you cannot write the last line because that pro uh, limit above is not equal to the uh, product of limit 
okay so it doesn't work here because we normally we know that the uh, limit of product equal uh, product of limits but that's for finite number of products here there's no finite number of products there's an infinite number of products so the best way to write this is the, you should have a, a parenthesis around actually so there should be a parenthesis around uh, because the limit is it belongs to everything so that means you cannot write the line below so now the question then then what we can do so let's make a like argument for this so uh, we can start like this so uh, we have the limit uh, n goes to infinity factorial n the nth root so this uh, you can write it like this just from basic algebra like a notational thing so we can write factorial n uh, 1 over n that we know that's just basic algebra now we can use a result we know that if x is positive we can write x is e ln x you can write it like that for when x is positive when x positive we can do that so we can use this result here so that means this is the case we can write this one as uh, we can say um, limit n goes to infinity so we can write e then a natural log uh, this factorial n to the 1 over n now what we can do is we can pull this 1 over n out uh, so then the next line we can write this as limit n goes to infinity uh, e 1 over n and then ln a factorial n. okay like that so next uh, obvious step would be we can expand the factorial uh, as uh, a limit uh, as a sum because we know that this is, this is a natural log so we can write this as a uh, sum and also we can do two things here uh, we can also bring the limit inside because we know the exponential function is continuous uh, so we can uh, bring the limit inside and also uh, so we can do two things since uh, so we know that the uh, y equal ex is continuous so that's a nice continuous function so we can bring the limit inside so let's try limit uh, no we can bring inside so it's exponential the limit n goes to infinity uh, so we have a 1 of n ln factorial n so the next step is are we gonna expand this so we can write this product because there's a product here we can have this as a sum so that means in the next step we can write this e limit n goes to infinity 1 over n so we can write this as a sum so that means uh, this is factorial so that means uh, we can write this one as uh, ln uh, so let's try it i'm gonna write extra step here so we have one times two times three and then the product n so we can write it like that that's what we have so we can write this as a sum so it's a e limit n goes to infinity one over n so we can write this one as ln one plus ln two like that and then we have um ln n minus 1 plus ln n so that's what we have now how to make the next argument so the interesting part is we gonna pick a like any positive k maybe like a positive integer k okay so um, so let's say let uh, k uh, be a uh, positive integer okay. let k be a positive integer so now if k is a positive integer since n goes to infinity we can say that this k is among those any of those numbers okay this k is among those numbers so what we can do i'm going to rewrite this one again because since k is a positive integer we can assume that without loss of generality we can assume that k is among those numbers because n goes to infinity okay so we're going to make that argument now so we have the limit uh, n goes to infinity n 
factorial nth root which is equal to we uh, write it this way e the limit n goes to infinity uh, 1 over n so let's exaggerate so that means we have ln 1 plus ln 2 so it can be a number in between so i'm going to say k here so ln k that's the number we say plus like that uh, ln n okay let's assume that so now what we can do is the question is how many numbers we have here so how many numbers uh, we have here so you can see that if this is the k one from k to n you can have we can see uh, we have n minus k plus one terms so there are that many terms okay there are that many terms n minus k plus one terms so that means we know that the natural uh, log is a uh, increasing function so we know that this is an increasing function that means for larger values the values are large so like that so that means this basically what this means is increasing function so what does that mean if you pick x and y uh, if y is bigger than x then the corresponding function values are also large so that means we have ln y and ln x so you can see that if increasing means uh, if uh, x less than y this means ln x is less than ln y so we have that fact so that means all the values after k are bigger than ln k okay are bigger than ln k so that means so we can say that so this product this product because we have a few more terms at the beginning so you can say that this product this limit is bigger than so you can say it's bigger than e we have limit n goes to infinity we have one now in here so what product we have here because there are how many numbers so this is the minimum so we can say this is n minus k plus one times ln k because if you replace each of them by ln k uh, we can see that the smaller but this one is bigger than that because all the numbers are bigger and plus we have few more uh, uh, positive terms at the beginning so we can say it like that now what's going to happen here ln k is a constant so you can see that um, uh, we can write it like this so we can make it uh, much more clear like that so we can say this is e uh, and then i can take with ln k is a constant so let's uh, write it in front and then we have limit n goes to infinity n minus k plus 1 over n so you can see that um, k is a constant there is a fixed number any positive integer so it's a fixed number but n goes to infinity so that means this limit is simply 1 because k is a fixed number so this limit is equal to 1 so that means uh, what you get is you can see that this is equals to e ln k in other words this is simply equals to k so that means what you can show is what you can show is if you pick any positive integer you can show that the corresponding limit is bigger than that so what does that mean if you pick any k if you pick any k the limit of the nth root of factorial n is bigger than that k so in other words that means this limit is bigger than any k so this um, so therefore so this follows that how that can happen the only way that can happen is that has to be infinity because otherwise if it's a finite number you can find a k uh, which is larger than that but you can show that for any k that's not that is bigger than that so that means so this implies that this implies uh, so you can see that this implies that this implies that this implies that uh, the limit Uh, n goes to infinity n factorial nth root is simply 
infinity because it cannot be finite if it's a finite number you can definitely find some k which is bigger than that but that doesn't happen because for any k you can see you can show that so this is the interesting part you can show that it is always either equal or bigger than that so that means this is the only way this can happen is this has to be infinity so this is a really nice uh, argument um, so this is one of the reason uh, you know why uh, we don't see this special root special term in many of those uh, uh, books or any other discussions okay so this is how we show that the um, nth root of factorial n is infinity